guys hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm samiksha and today i will be sharing with you guys how i got selected in pwc india through off campus interview uh, in the statutory audit profile so basically the first question that arises is how i got referred to the company so i had given my resume to one of the agency one of the agency which is formed by our ca final faculty so my resume was with them and they they referred me to pwc india to begin with around 20 days after my results came i got first call from pwc india and that was by hr so that was my first round of interview hr round of interview and the questions were very simple uh, you just have to be confident enough and answer all the questions uh, confidently and correctly so the hr round lasted for around 5 to 7 minutes and uh, the questions were very basic questions he asked me about uh, from where did i completed my article ship my number of attempts in ca final uh, why do i want to go ahead in statutory audit and my preferred location and if i'm open to relocate to that location then he also asked me about my expected ctc um, after one week i got to know that i've been shortlisted and uh, uh, so my technical round was scheduled uh, two to three days after that uh, so basically my technical round was taken by uh, who was associated with pwc india for around 7 years so uh, and he had previous experience also so basically he was a very experienced person so the technical round was a very practical round and he kind of created various case scenarios based on whatever experience that i had mentioned in my resume and based on whatever clients that i had handled um so it was a very practical round and case study based interview so the very first question was a regular question tell me something about yourself and then he asked me about what kind of clients i had handled in my article ship and what all assignments i was part of and uh, overall what kind of industries i was handling uh, in my article ship then the third question was mention three challenges that you faced during your article ship the, so the entire my, my entire technical round was revolving under, uh, around this question so the first challenge that i mentioned uh, was regarding uh, a fragrance and flavor industry that i was part of for statutory audit so um, i mentioned that they were manufacturing uh, perfumes they were manufacturing fragrances for various brands as a third party manufacturer and there was one scenario a brand used to ask the manufacturer to hold on the delivery uh, for some reasons maybe some strategic decisions like demand and supply or any other decision so uh, they had to hold on the delivery and uh, that was the point wherein we had to analyze about the revenue recognition according to 115 uh, so i answered this challenge and then he asked me how did i resolve that then based on this uh, one challenge that i mentioned um, he created a case scenario then and there uh, and he asked me like, like for example if it is manufacturing a fragrance for a brand then how will the uh, revenue recognition take place as per indes so then i had to explain him entire indes uh, there's this point in uh, indes that is mentioned that there are these conditions mentioned in the indes about the revenue recognition whether to recognize uh, when the po is satisfied over the point of time and or the po is satisfied at the point of time and then there are three conditions under that if it is satisfied over the point of time and the third conditions mentions that uh the po is to be satisfied over the point of time explained him about some statutory non compliance compliance about the peso act and he mentioned about its implication in the audit report where will be i um disclosing this kind of non compliances uh which section i will be disclosing this kind of non compliance third challenge that i mentioned was also related to some uh related party also it was related to related party transactions so he also got an opportunity to check my corporate law knowledge uh, so yes he, again in all the three challenges he created some case scenarios and he asked me he also asked me some normal questions like materiality 
explain materiality what 116 india is accounting for lesser perspective and then he asked me why do you want to relocate to hyderabad like you are living in gujarat why do you want to come to hyderabad and he asked me about uh, my family my parents and then he asked me how do i see myself five years from now he wrapped the interview over this uh, like asking me if i had any questions to ask him so that was all it lasted for around 40 to 45 minutes uh, he grilled me properly but thankfully i was able to understand all his questions properly answer them wisely the person was very cooperative if i got stuck somewhere he used to guide me and then i i used to pick up from there and the experience was very nice and after the interview only i got to know that okay i i might be getting selected that you get that vibe one week of this interview i got to know that i was shortlisted for the partners round and the partners round was scheduled one week after that so during my partners round my interview was taken uh, by the uh, by a person who was associated with pwc india for 20 years and he was a very senior person very experienced person and uh, he Uh, like ask me again he ask me same questions about my background about the clients that i've handled any listed entity i've handled and then he asked me about why ca uh, why did i chose to be a ca and then he asked me during that time adani case was in the air so was in the air so he asked me about that what are your views and uh, what are your views on the case and how do you look this case entirely and then he asked me explain uh, what an fra is and then he asked me about my family background and that's all it was a very nice 8 minute interview I was able to answer all the questions and uh, the person seemed satisfied uh, like the partner was very happy with the interview he said he'll get back soon so after that round uh, after one week i got to know that i was selected for pwc india and you go for off campus the interview process are a little bit difficult and involves multiple rounds uh, when you compare it with the on campus interview because if whenever whenever the uh, interview is scheduled through campus there will be only one round of interview so you just have to crack that but here there were three rounds of interview and uh, it was nice it was a very nice experience the entire team from pwc were really very cooperative very cooperative and very calm while the interview was uh, during the interview i had a very nice experience with them so that's all for today's video if you like this video then please hit the like button and share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel and just let me know what kind of videos you want to see on my channel till then bye bye